And some of the city's top doctors say part of the blame for this rise is the UK variant. It's showing major spread at a time when more and more people are getting vaccinated. But it's those who can't get vaccinated, kids who may now be most at risk. CBS News' Marie Saavedra live in our street Street's studio with families and what they need to know. Marie. Brad, this talk about kids and the UK variant has really picked up steam in just the last 48 hours. Doctors from the White House to here in Chicago say this assumption that kids can't easily pick up this virus or spread it is no longer as true as it once was. But we're just seeing tons and tons of the B117 variant. Dr. Emily Landon of University of Chicago Medicine has this warning for anyone starting to let their guard down in the pandemic. The UK variant is looking for any opening it gets, and it doesn't take much to spread. On average, you're breathing out maybe almost twice as much COVID as you were before, and it takes half as much for you to get sick. It's been here in Chicago for some time, but it's now showing up in a concerning population. Adults may be getting vaccinated, but kids aren't. And with this variant, doctors say they are more at risk. Younger people who have considered themselves to be largely protected from the bad outcomes of COVID are not as protected when it comes to B117. Monday, the CDC discussed the rise at its COVID briefing. We are learning that many outbreaks in young people are related to youth sports and extracurricular activities. According to CDC guidance, these activities should be limited. Dr. Landon says that is happening here. People can get closer together. Masks don't stay on very well or protect as well when you're running around and doing lots of activity. She says it's up to parents and guardians to recalibrate their thinking. The kids probably won't get that sick. That's probably correct, but it's less correct than it was a few months ago. And so your guard should stay up no matter your age. I think the best thing to do is to protect your kids the same way that you would have protected yourself in the beginning of the pandemic. Important to note, both the CDC and Dr. Landon said that they are not seeing this increase stemming from schools at all because those do remain pretty controlled environments. It is these after school activities and then it's the gathering around after practice, waiting in the carpool line or getting in a van of a family that's not yours to ride home. Those small instances are really what's bringing up the biggest concern. In the Streetside Studio, Marisa Vedra, CBS 2 News. Okay, good information for parents. Thanks, Marie.